So, duckweed, friend or foe? Well, I personally like duckweed more than I hate it. Um, it certainly can cause problems uh, within lagoon systems. For example, it can lead to lower levels of dissolved oxygen uh, because it can inhibit the wind's action on the surface of the water. Uh, if you have a completely covered uh, duckweed lagoon, um, it can also die and sink to the bottom uh, as it does during the natural cycles of winter, summer, winter, summer. And, and that duckweed, when breaks down, it can feed back nutrients uh, such as phosphorus and nitrogen. So those are the bad things. Uh, the good things is it provides a natural cover um, and it prevents what I think is much worse, which is the microscopic uh, filamentous algae from growing. And that's stuff you can't skim, you can't really get rid of, and it can find its way into your testing samples and cause you to show higher BOD and TSS than you would normally have. Um, you can control duckweed. A properly controlled duckweed bat can be maybe the best of both worlds. Uh, having a little bit of aeration and mixing can help to control duckweed. Duckweed wants to grow in very quiescent, still water, and if you uh, turbulate it, it doesn't grow as easily. Um, and, um, you know, by treating the sludge, you can also treat the nutrients which are causing that duckweed, duckweed to grow, the, the fertilizer, so to speak, for the duckweed to grow. Um, you can also skim duckweed. There are duckweed skimmers, and you can use a good old-fashioned pole skimmer. I have some personal experience with one of those, uh, to take the duckweed off, and it makes a great fertilizer. So uh, I hope this is helpful. Uh, ultimately, if you get a really nice duckweed mat going that's not too crazy, you get some really nice clear water coming out of a lagoon in a situation like that.